Welcome back to OWF11, everyone. Uh, you are on Italian TV, and we're here with uh, Gilles Cravier, uh, Open Source Director for Public Sector at Oracle. Right. Welcome, Gilles. Thank you. Thanks for passing by. So uh, let's start off with Oracle and open source. Sure, so it's a long subject, right? Oracle is uh, not necessarily very known for open source, but it's been doing open source for ages, and uh, even before the acquisition of Sun. So we actually have a whole portfolio of open source products. Uh, uh, Linux, Oracle Linux is an open source one, it's all GPL, Oracle uh, uh, Virtual uh, Machine is based on Xen, it's GPL as well. Those come from before the Sun era. Uh, the Sun era brought uh, things like uh, VirtualBox, uh, which is another virtualizer, which is a workstation mode virtualizer. We have Java now, also coming from the Sun acquisition. Um, we have MySQL, um, which is also one of the products that came from Sun, even though Oracle already had InnoDB, which is a data store, open source data store for MySQL. Um, Oracle also had Berkeley DB and still has Berkeley DB, an open source database. So all of these products, uh, Glassfish as well, part of the Java family of products, is, uh, is also an open source um, application server. And all of these products uh, from before the Sun acquisition and nowadays are all inside Oracle living, being developed and progressing. and and share uh, our uh, commercial strategy with, with the uh, commercial offerings. And what are your plans about OpenJDK? So, uh, OpenJDK, so, um, most of what we're presenting here on the show uh, uh, this year is, is around Java 7 because there's quite a bit of news on this. And in particular, um, OpenJDK has been announced uh, recently. Um, it's, been, it's being developed uh, as an open source uh, project with the Java community process uh, and the contributions from the outside. And it's the reference implementation now for, uh, for Java. So uh, a lot of work uh, taking place. And there were some very nice uh, explanations this morning from my colleague Dalibor Topic, who's one of our evangelists. Um, for those of you who are lucky to go to uh, uh, Oracle Open World in a couple of weeks, uh, you'll even hear a lot more uh, around OpenJDK. But We'd be glad to get a pass. Uh, so would I. <laughs> so, um, uh, so yeah, we're doing quite a bit of work around OpenJDK, and it's uh, serving as the base uh, for uh, Oracle's commercial JDK as well. Okay, and what are the differences between... Uh uh, open JDK and official Oracle uh, JDK. JDK. So, so that the main difference, apart from the fact that one comes with a pure open source GPL license, and that's Open JDK, which is which means you find it in li Linux distributions, for example, um, and the fact that Oracle JDK is not GPL. Um, there's a few additional things that uh, are packaged with the Oracle JDK, which are not open source at all. Um, there's the plugin, which is what you see in the web browser. When you open a Java applet in the web browser and, and it displays in the browser, that's the plugin that's working for you. That's not open source. There are open source alternatives, but that's not open source. Uh, Java Web Start, which lets you have cached versions of your applications on your, uh, on your desktop and run them as if they were application, even though they were loaded like an applet from a web browser. Web Start is not open source either. So it's part of the, the Oracle JDK, and if you install the Oracle JDK on Linux, you get, of course, these things. There's so a few other components uh, that are closed source, like a rasterizer. Um, and what we're doing right now, and that's in, an important part of uh, OpenJDK 7, is that we're moving into OpenJDK features from things like JRocket, the, uh, the historical uh, legacy Oracle VM uh, that sit next to Hotspot, the, the Sun VM. And so some of the features from JRocket are actually being migrated and turned open source as they migrate into JDK, OpenJDK 7. So OpenJDK, open source, moving some of the uh, historical closed source uh, code into OpenJDK and turning that into open source. There might, there probably will remain still a few bits and pieces here and there, but in general, it's turning as much as possible into complete open source. Cool. And what about uh, Java 7 on Mac? Ooh. What, what, what's, what are the plans there? <laughs> so the plans, um, if you go to Java.net, so Java.net is the main development, um, community development site for, uh, for Java. And there is a project on Java.net for, um, for uh, JDK 7 on Mac. So today we're actually working on this very, it's, it's, it's a bit early, so we're working on it. And as soon as we have something that's reasonably stable enough to have a preview, it will be moved to the official Java downloads. But we're working on this with the guys from Apple, um, and it will be a, a full-fledged Apple look and feel type of thing. So it's, it's... You and Apple. Huh? You and Apple. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> we and Apple. It'll look really nice on Apple. So it'll let you run Java applications uh, 
there as well. Okay, and uh, just as a last question, what about MySQL? So MySQL, um, it's 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 moving very nicely. Um, last year we announced JDK five uh, MySQL five five. Um, one of the things we moved into uh, MySQL, and that was separate. It was a plugin before. It's called InnoDB, so it's a transactional data store. So if you download MySQL right now, uh, the community edition, the, the default data store isn't the sequential access uh, files anymore. It's the uh, InnoDB transactional store. So that's that's been done since 5.5. InnoDB is getting some improvements in, in 5.6, performance, stability, etc. The same as MySQL. And 5.6 has a an early access version that's just been made available on the labs.mysql.com website. So if you want to see what MySQL 5.6 is going to look like, um, labs.mysql.com, have a look at it, play with it, give us feedback. Great. Well, you heard him. Uh, so thank you very much, Gilles. Thank uh, you. Thanks for your time. Mm -hmm. See you all soon on Intellian TV.